hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. We're here with your now bi-weekly reading. My name is Emily Gear. I'm a multi-dimensional channel and also a transformative energy healer. So as I've been saying in the other readings I've done in the last couple days, I am just kind of finding my way here on YouTube and kind of figuring out the time commitment that I can give you um, in addition to what resonates with me, what I like to do, what you guys are enjoying, and so, and what kind of time frame I can do these things in. So what I think is going to work out is that I will do the first half of the Zodiac on one week and the second half of the Zodiac in the next week, and then we'll just continue that way, um, taking basically as long as I need to to get them done. So um, this week there are no extended reads. I hope to continue those in the future. That's essentially doubles all of my reading time and that has been probably the biggest burden. So um, I not only take private clients, uh, private healing clients um, and reading clients, but I also run um, a very large animal rescue full time. So, so my time is extremely limited and uh, I know you guys do not complain. You really don't and you guys are so, awesome in the comments but I always feel because of that that I want to let you know what's going on because I respect your time in the same way that you guys have respected my time so with all of that said thank you very much for being here and please like this video uh, comment on it if it resonates or if you have anything to add or share and um, sharing the videos also helps too um, I do watch I do watch the analytics to see how long people watch, how many people watch, that kind of thing. Not because I necessarily value my messages that way, but because I want to see where my time investment's going. So um, it helps when you do that. Thank you so much for those of you who have been. So without any further chatting, let's move on to the messages for you guys for the next two weeks, okay? So this is Capricorn for the coming two weeks. What messages do we have for Capricorn for the coming two weeks, please? Well, that's a whole mess. Okay. Capricorn for the coming two weeks, please. Okay, two came out. Wow, all right. Okay, let's start here. We're just going to start here. So the first two cards came out together, and it was justice with judgment. These are legit. These are like legit cards. You're going through something. Um, Sagittarius, I think, also got judgment. Um, <clears throat> so I feel like they're... <coughs> Sorry. Something's coming through for you. That's what I feel like. I feel like, um, you know, you might have been in this sort of unbalanced predicament for a little bit. Could have been a legal decision. Could have been just making a decision in general about which way to go with something. Um, but I feel like this is a cycle closing for you because you're making a decision and it is based upon you having really evaluated your life and... Um, what is working for you, what isn't working for you, where you want to continue to give your time or your energy or your expertise. You know, this could be a relationship, this could be business, this could be a creative project, it could be any of those things. And so in this case, there's been something that you were maybe up in the air about, like you weren't sure, am I going to continue with this job? Do I, okay, the pay is good, but the people are miserable, or maybe the team is amazing, but I don't make enough and I need to get a second job. So you've been making a decision and it might have been a challenging one because I get the feeling that like it wasn't, because you were weighing the options, it wasn't all good or all bad in either direction. Okay, but whatever, <clears throat> whatever you picked, I really feel like is truly in your highest and best good that you have been making a connection with the divine and really aligning that's that's kind of the message i'm getting here because even though this is a difficult situation difficult decision for you 
um, you've got the wheel of fortune coming up here. And so you are moving in the right direction, that things are changing for you for the better. Okay. Um, I don't, sometimes I pull the wheel of fortune and I get this feeling of randomness, like, like the wheel on, um, this is my brother's favorite show. I cannot even, what's it called? Uh, Price is Right. So my, I, I can't even with my brother. He's the best. He's severely disabled. He loves his TV and Price is Right is the thing. So anyway, that's what I think of when I pull it and it's random. This is not random. This is moving in the right direction. And I also feel it's very divinely guided. I feel like you've been getting fed these little bits and pieces about, you know, which way to go. And maybe you're, I'm just looking at all these creatures here. So, you know, maybe you're getting uh, signs and symbols from animals. And maybe, you know, it's like, you know, the archangels are coming in. These are more Egyptian Anubis is here, but I'm almost feeling, I think in the traditional tarot, these are archangels and, or they represent archangels, something like that. Um, or maybe you've been checking your horoscope or whatever. This is a bull and I know you guys are Capricorn, but still same, same difference for today anyway. Uh, and you have been um, listening to the signs and symbols, the direction coming in from the divine or from your guides, um, from source. And you've made a decision. You've you've really stepped up. And this is a huge transitional energy. Clearly, the death card just popped out. So things are changing for you. You're on the move is what I just heard, which makes sense here with this wheel card and the death card. Um, it's a new dawn. New dawn. Um... Whatever you are stepping into, so I feel like this is the new, okay? So this is the new dawn. Here's your new situation. Here's the advice for your new situation, whatever that is. New relationship you're walking into, new job, new career path, new healing modality even. If some of you are healers, you've got, oh, and that makes sense because here we, here we are. You've got something to learn. You've got some studying to do. You've got um, some some maybe even like a culture to shift into <clears throat> in either case this is like a higher learning so this is a higher path it came up here with the strength card so I feel like um again it's that feeling of a higher path this uh and this higher path is coming in I'm saying this because I keep talking about the divine feminine right and I can't help it because I keep channeling it through and it's like this higher path is all about learning this new, it's not a new skill, but the skill that maybe we have all not been as proficient in in the past of really surrendering into the flow of our lives. So I think with this change, you may have in the past or may have recently, perhaps even uncharacteristically, surrendered into the flow of what you could tell was over and done with and like you just needed to move into this new situation. And so now you are and it's requiring you to continue that kind of surrender, okay? There's a new cycle, a new set of rules, a new set of learning or new kind of learning here. And it could be that this learning is simply the learning to surrender, okay? Learning to flow in a way that you have not flowed in the past, especially for Capricorn. You guys love you, but not exactly the flowiest sign of the horoscope, okay? Of the zodiac, I mean. Um, I also feel like there is a great wealth of internal knowledge that you have this is almost giving me the feeling something like but slightly more physical than the high priestess. So it's as if you innately and instinctively have so have this knowledge or have this this instinctive knowing about the direction that you are moving in and that it is um that it's beneficial for you. I'm just focusing on this infinity sign that you're closing a cycle of karma up, which we talked about when we 
when we began this reading, that you're going in the right direction. No matter how challenging it might seem, no matter how many doors seem like they're closing on you, a really fucking big one just opened up. And so that's exciting. And I think that you were a part of it. I don't get the feeling that you just like laid down and, and you know, let people do as they would. Um, I do feel like, you know, you have been in a difficult, there are a whole bunch of cards just popped together. And so we've got the Four of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords with the Five of Cups. All of these cards tell a story in pairs over and over again about how you may had to make an evaluation about the value of something and about how it was affecting you and eventually had to make the decision to um, set boundaries with situations that were essentially either draining you or disappointing you um, and that this created the environment so that you could, this ace and this wheel, I feel, basically are the same thing here. This is the movement forward in a positive, abundant direction. This is that abundance and that new beginning. Okay. So this is amazing stuff coming in. Um, and I'm hearing that you deserve to and need to thank yourself for being such a um, strong and in tune individual that you have done the work you have been doing the work it's not that we don't have more growth to to um, accomplish or to be able to you know grow it's nowhere to grow into you know what I mean but um, and it you know there will be a continued slow process of growth here with the Prince of Pentacles showing up but you got to pat yourself on the back. You've made a tough choice. You've you've made a you've closed a cycle, and I feel like it's a big one, and that it's a challenging one. And um, your, I want to say your rewards are coming in now. I don't like that word either because it implies something being better than something else, right? Like you get rewarded for doing something right or maybe like you know choosing a better path I just feel like there is this path and then there is this one so it's like we have to go through the previous one in order to get to the next one and so there's no better or worse like there's no rewarding for it or something that's just how it feels to me okay like I'm not trying to um to lay a whole philosophy on you here but it feels like some kind of gift that comes in um, as a result of you closing this cycle, of you leaving the past behind, the heavy, dense energy, um, whatever it was for you, you know, however that heavy, dense energy was manifesting. Unfulfilling relationship, uh, beliefs that kept you trapped, beliefs that, uh, you know, made you believe you could not move forward, whatever it was, okay, you've left it behind in some sense, or are in the process of leaving it behind, or will soon, within the next two weeks, be leaving some of that behind okay so um this is amazing you guys have worked hard and i'm really proud of you <laughs> i'm just gonna put that out there uh i hope this was helpful for you guys if you decide you would like a private session or a healing session with me to help you on your journey to help clear away this baggage to help you change limiting belief systems please feel free to schedule on my website which is imemilygear.com Every session is personalized. We use whatever bag uh, or whatever uh, technique I have in my bag of tricks that your record keepers and source energy tell me uh, you will need. Um, and we find that information out because I open everyone's Akashic records in the sessions and we go from there. So um, appreciate you guys being here. Please like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and I look forward to seeing you guys again in roughly two weeks. Okay, bye.